Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing Love and Hip Hop Atlanta Season 2 Episode 9 Review. The show starts off with what looked to me as very staged opening for Jocelyn and Stevie J to get their problems out. Now, they probably was already going to get their problems out, but you know, Mona Scott, she wanted to have the setup just right. They showed Jocelyn over there doing whatever, Stevie walking in in slow motion. And she's like, okay, we need to get this together. I need my deal together. And he's like, oh yeah, um, about that. There is no deal. Now that you want to act all foolish, come at me, there ain't no deal. You work for me, I own you. She's like, um, no ma'am, you do not own me. It's not working like that. And he's like, yeah, I own you. So they hash it out. Now, whether they're going to make up a breakup, I don't know. But I'm, me, I'm thinking they're going to make right back up. Seems like that's what all they do. So, K. Michelle and Carla meet up. K. Michelle, she's on this whole new, I'm trying not to be so quick to slap somebody business. So, I'm going to meet up with Carly Red. See what she got to say. Carly Red wants to inform her, okay, yeah, you know how me and you was like not really friends at one point. Just like last week. Well, for the last couple of months, I was so mad about the way you treated me that I made it in this record. Came and she was like, what? She's like, yeah, I just wanted to let you know before it came out and everything that I made this disc record. Came and let her know this would be the last disc record you do. And we didn't already squash what we had going on. I'm going to need you to cut that right now. Now, I don't care what you've done now because you already did it. Don't be doing that no more. Just a warning, okay, girl? Just letting you know. So I'm assuming Carly Red, she got the impression. So we're going to move over to Stevie. He meets up with Arian, which I thought was very weird. But I was like, okay, he's trying to get information about me, me. Arian's like, you did my friend wrong. You did her wrong in so many ways. You cheated on her. You left her for that woman you cheated on her. You've been cheating on her. You've been acting all kind of stank towards her. Stevie just wanted information. He didn't want Arian to cry about how the way he done her wrong. And now she with some new man that ain't really right for her. Just because of the fact he wasn't right. So he's like, you know, he didn't really want all this to happen. I just no one need a little information. Now this girl come crying, spilling out her heart. And how Mimi's her girl in the back of pearls. And... I just wanted to know how Mimi was doing. But no, I got all this other mess going on. So let me listen to what Arian got to say. Even though I am common denominator of what's going on in Mimi's life. If I hadn't been cheating on her and doing her wrong, I wouldn't be having this conversation. So okay, we're going to get together and we're going to try to figure this out how I can help Mimi. So she won't be so mad all the time. Now I'm paraphrasing on this, but yeah. I keep looking down because I have my notes. Speaking of Mimi, she is doing her fashion, new fashion line. You know, Jocelyn kept on calling her maid. So, Mimi's like, I'm going to make some money off this. I have this maid fashion line, which, okay, but do what you do, girl. And it's called Made. M-A-D-E. And it's making a difference every day. Made. Yes. That's her little clo new clothing line. Hey, Mimi, you make you some money. Go ahead and do that. I'm not sure what maid still uses those outfits from back in the day, but okay, we're going to go with it. Nico pops up at her photo shoot, you know, to support her and everything. She already a little mad at him because she seen a little snippet of what the video looked like and she wasn't really in it. She's supposed to be the main girl in the video and she was there enough to blink your eye and say, was that me, me? So he's like, yeah. We're going to figure some things out and we're going to work it out. That ain't it. We're going to fix this. So meanwhile, he gives her a gift. He gives her a Rolex. That was a very nice gesture, but his was blinged out. Hers didn't have a diamond at first. He feels that he doesn't like diamonds on her. You give me a gift. It ain't what you like on me. It's what you don't think I'm going to like. So she's like, okay, it's stop the count. I'm not going to go there, Mimi. I'm not going to go there. We're just going to say that that's nice. I'm appreciative of this gift you gave me. Even though it was something you want me to wear and not something I would wear myself. But okay, we're going to skip past that. We're going to move over to Rashida. She meets up with her mom and she's like, let her mom know Kirk done flipped his wig. He gone all kind of crazy. I don't know what this, I don't know what, I don't even know this man no more. He talking about he want me to get rid of the baby. He talking about the baby he is. He been gone all hours of the night. I don't know what's going on, Mama Rashida. I don't remember her name, so we're going to call her Mama Rashida. So, yes. 
So, Miss, you know, Mama Rashid is like, yeah, something ain't right. He all out, hours, all hours of the night. I know it's stressful this time, but you know, you is his wife. He should not ask you to go, basically tell you you need to get an abortion. He helped make this baby. He had to take responsibility. Like he helped make all the other babies he got. He had to take responsibility too. I know it's hard. This ain't his plan. He wasn't planning on you getting pregnant, but that's the you know, choice you make when you have sex with your wife, girlfriend, or whoever. So I'm going to talk to this man. Well, she ain't say that, but, you know, I already started looking, you know, this a mama and somebody did her child wrong. Oh, yeah, she's going to talk to her brother. Her child is two or uh, 222 years old. I know that is not an actual number, but, you know, mamas, they will fight for their child to the end. do not matter how old you are. So, yeah. Stevie and Benzino, wait, they make up. Yeah, they've, Benzino was like, I shouldn't caught girl that. I was sorry. I didn't mean to do that disrespectful girl. I will apologize. Stevie's on this. Um, you ain't got to do that. I'm mad at Johnson right now. That's why I mean you can be best good friends again. Like Forrest and, Bu Forrest and Butler. Yes. We can be friends again. We go have this. I hate Jocelyn Club. You want to join Benzino? Sure. So then they friends again. I guess their hatred of Jocelyn, I guess you could say, brought them back together. Which I don't even know if it's hatred because Benzino was gonna make up for Oh yeah, they made up now and they friends. All that other stuff is in the past. Making it new. Then it was K. Michelle's birthday. She didn't invite Arian. She didn't invite Erica. And she didn't invite Carly. Benzino walks in like, hey, here's a gift. It's a diamond necklace. She's like, okay, is this real? He's like, yeah. Carly's over here getting mad because like, um... And these are her words. He bought her a diamond necklace with diamonds on it. I'm not really sure what kind of diamond necklace it is. It doesn't have diamonds. But okay. Tell you mad and you kind of stumble on your words. Y'all see I do that all the time. But okay. Now she's kind of feeling some kind of way. It's like, yeah, me and Bazzino, we was kind of, we was together for a minute. He ain't never in life bought me anything remotely close to no diamond necklace. And I don't even think these two really kick it and know each other like it. So what's going on, Benzino? So now this is her chance to give Carly her gift, which I thought was in bad taste, but okay, this is Carly Red. She presents her with a few things, and then she brings out a CD. And everybody wanted the DJ to play the CD, but Carly Red's on this whole, no, nah, that ain't a good idea, this is the dish record. Now why are you giving this girl the dish record at her birthday party? Now you already know how K. Michelle get, She's ready to, you know, jump off at anybody at any given time. So what makes you think this is a proper time to hand her a disc record at her birthday party? Now, Kevin okay, Shell, she was all cool with it until she got to hearing a song and and a lyric said that she, you know, Carla Red believes that Kevin Shell made up this whole her getting abused. And that's when it went left. Carla not Carla, but Kevin Shell was like, mm-mm. You gonna put that in the record? Now y'all know how I get. I'm ready to climb a tree, jump a rope. Not jump a climb a tree, but, but I'm ready to climb a fence and kill somebody. That's who I am. Y'all know this. I'm trying to make a change for the better, but no. She's standing up yelling. Carly tells her to, you know, calm down. Carly stands up and she's like, no, Carly, sit down. Carly said those words. I will not look up to you. And bam, cup gets thrown. Another cup gets thrown. Okay, Michelle proceeds to walk out. And I was like, dang, my managers and everybody told me I need to change my image. So she did apologize. Like, I'm sorry, but, you know, you can't be doing mess like that no more. I will forgive you. But, you know, you fool me once. She me. You fool me twice. She me. I'm just letting you know, girl. Next time, you might not be so lucky. So you might not want to do no mess like that no more. So... Rashida, Rashida's mama lets Kurt have it. She meets up with him like, hey, he's already on this one. I don't even know what she needs to talk about, what's going on in our relationship. She ain't paying no bills, ain't getting no work done. She ain't really got nothing to say. Oh, you were so wrong about that, Kirk. Because that is Rashida's mama, and she's going to be there for her child because you've been acting all kinds of crazy. This your wife, Kirk, now. I'm mama Rashida. This your wife, Kirk. 
you didn't honor to love, honor, and obey this woman. Now you over talking about some she didn't cheat it. You don't want this child. She may have tricked you into getting pregnant. Like, y'all ain't married already, but she wanted to get some of your money, so she just didn't take her birth control pills. Poke the hole in the con. You trying to make all these scenarios like she didn't trick you into getting pregnant. Like, you was, you had nothing to do with this. You was in the other room, and somehow she got your DNA and got pregnant. That's what you making it seem like. You had no part in this. You were innocent bystanders. Like, no. You will not be doing my child like that, Kirk. No, you will not. I don't know what this mess you're going through, but you need to get this together quick, fast, in a hurry. Because I ain't liking the way you look. I used to like it, Kirk. Now I'm still cheating my own. But you keep on with this. I had to handle with me. Now I'm paraphrasing what what she said, but y'all kind of got the gist of what Mom was talking about. So it's now Nico's video release party. That's what I'm gonna call it. It's time to release the whole Nico and Johnny from LA to New York or to New York and LA or whatever it is. Now remember, Mimi she is supposed to be the main girl in this video. She's already done did all her scenes. She's the main girl in this video. But I want to know how come her main part in this video, they showed her like a good swipe of Mimi and that was like the rest of it. I didn't see no Mimi no more. Now I haven't seen the video online because I really didn't want to see it. But you know since I was watching Love and Hip Hop I wanted to see where Mimi's part was. They showed her twist and that was it. Johnny and Nico, they are all outside in front of planes and different outfits, all up and through. Now, that's their video, so that's what they're supposed to do. Stevie J comes in like, what the hell is this mess on TV? Is this the video? Y'all acting stupid. This ain't even right. He over there just clowning like, oh my goodness, Mimi, you with this fool? He can't even make a good video. What you thinking about, girl? So he comes over in his Saturday Night Fever outfit. Yes, the all white woman from Saturday Night Fever with Joshua. Yeah, look it up. But anyways, he comes in like, "Hey, Mimi's like, oh, here we go again. This food. Okay, what you want, Stevie? He's coming over to show support. He sees the white shoulder here, and he's, oh yeah, nice, but it's fake. Nico feels some kind of way because he didn't buy the watch. It ain't fake. Yeah, I know fake, and that's fake." Come on, Mimi. I got a surprise for you. And why does Mimi leave Nico's party to go get a present from Stevie? Like, I'm not really... I mean, she said, hold on. She went outside and it's a brand new car. So, she went outside and got her car from Stevie. She was like, ain't no strings attached. No. It's just a gift from you. My baby mom. Yeah, so he didn't give her a car. She goes back in. Nico, like, okay... We're going to park this car in the garage and we're going to keep it moving because no. She's like, why well, I got to get a car back? Um, you just got this from your ex, your baby's father. What are you thinking? You're supposed to be in a relationship with me. You're getting gifts from this man. I don't think we going to work out. Yeah, that was the straw that broke the camel's back. Which I really didn't see them really a couple of couple. I just really saw him trying to get exposure for his new video. Because the first chance he gets to meet her friends, what does he do? Oh, I'm making a video and I want all y'all there. So a good chance if one couldn't go, the other was going to go. Either way, he was going to get his video on Love and Hip Hop. and going to get premiered on VH1 where a lot of people watch. Get his publicity going on. That's where I see him. That's what I've seen in Nico. And I could be wrong, but that that is just, that's just how I saw it. That's where his role was. I'm going to get with Mimi because I know she's kind of over right now because Steven did her own. Show her some love. You know, tell her about my video. Let her be in it, but not show her all that much. Just that one good swipe. And I've done my job, and now I'm a star. That's what I'm seeing with Nico. So, I hope I'm not right. So... That was just a video. Mimi and Nico, they get mad at each other. They fight. They break up. So, yeah. Next week, it's going to be good. Because, what's his name? Waka Flocka Fame. I'm going to be on her again. That one was scared. It's still out of me. But, yeah. So, that's it. That's suggested a video. If I left anything out, by all means, leave a comment or a video response. And, like always, I want to thank my subscribers. 
and the people who watch my videos. I want you to like this video, comment, and subscribe. And share this video with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and here on YouTube. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.